Hi besties, it's Honesty and I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be showing y'all how I achieve this look. Um, this is highly requested. Everybody been asking me, Ani, how do you get this makeup look? So I'm here to tell y'all. This is how I get the look. Um, it's a few steps. It's a very simple process. It probably takes me about 20 minutes to do my makeup, if even that. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to show y'all how I do this. So, if you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, hey, Bessie, hey. And let's get into this video. Okay, y'all, so the first thing I do is I wipe my face down with some uh, Garner Makeup Cleansing Water. Um, I saw a girl on TikTok do this, um, and I guess it just helps her, like, you know, hydrate the skin, um, you know, been doing it, so, I do that, and also, with this makeup look, I do flip my septum up, because I know I see a lot of people asking, where your septum at, where your septum at, I still got my septum edge I saw in the last clip, but I always just lift it up, because if I give, the makeup look just gives without the septum, like, I love my septum, but, I feel like it doesn't look good with the makeup look that I was doing, so that's why I flipped it because it doesn't look good on me. Um, and yeah, I've been debating on taking my septum out because I really don't like it anymore, so that might be why I feel like it doesn't look good with the makeup look. But yeah, the next thing I do is I wipe my face with some witch hazel. Um, I just use the Dickinson's one. Um, yeah. So I just go in with that. And this just keeps my skin hydrated, y'all, because my makeup be drying my skin out sometimes, so it just keeps it hydrated. So then after I do that, I just put some lotion on my face. So I know y'all like, why are you putting lotion on your face? But I've always been putting lotion on my face. Y'all ain't got to do it, but I got real dry skin, so I be trying to keep my skin from breaking out, so... I mean, not breaking out, but just being too dry because, yeah, my skin be dry. But, yeah, I put lotion on my face, y'all, after I wipe it down with those two things because my skin be dry. Like, I got really dry skin, so, yeah. So, I had been seeing this primer everywhere on TikTok. It's the Milk Primer. I bought the little small one so I could test it out, but I'm definitely going back to get the bigger one because I love this primer. I take about this much, and I just... Put it all over my face. Like literally everywhere, y'all. And y'all see how moisturizer make your skin look like. And then I go in with some facial mist. And then I just dry my face up a little bit. I don't let it get too dry, but I dry it up just a little bit. So, you know, dry your face off. <laughs> so then I go in with my NARS foundation and my foundation brush. And I just go in like circular motions everywhere. And it just gives the foundation like a cleaner look. If y'all see me looking over here, y'all, it's because I got a mirror over there. But after that, I go in with the damp sponge and I just pat it in. So then I go in with two concealers. I go in with Warm Honey. They're both from LA Pro Girl. Um, so I go in with Warm Honey right in this area right here. Like that. Same thing with this side. 
And then that's when I go in with Fawn. And I'm going to show y'all why I go in with Fawn. I just go in with Fawn right underneath where I went in with Warm Honey. That. Um, and then I come down here where my nose is, like that, and then also just some um, right there, not too much. And then I take my y'all. I take my contour stick. This is from Fenty Beauty, and then I just go. So literally like this y'all. Just like this. And then at first I go on with the concealer brush, you know, uh for my concealer. Okay, y'all, and then I just blend my contour like that. Then I go on my cream blush by Milani and I just put it. And then, you know, I try to blend it in as much as possible, even though, like, you know, so just try to blend it in as much as you can, so that's the blush, I do my blush, and then I'm about to go through and I'm about to show y'all how I do my powder. Okay, so the powder I used is the Revolution Powder in Banana Deep. The best powder that I've ever used in my entire life. I love this powder. Um, I'm about to show y'all the places that I put the powder. So I do put it right here by my nose. Like, I do it right there. Um, like that, that's how I do my nose. And uh, I go underneath my eyes as well. And then I go right here. Like that. So those are the places that I put my powder. These areas. Um, and I'm going to start on my eyebrows because I do my eyebrows while my powder is making. So for my brows, I use this brow pencil by NYX, and I also use this Morphe Supreme brow gel. Um, and I just put some of the brow gel a little bit onto my brush that comes with 
this. This is my hair on, y'all. And I just brush my eyebrows up like this. So I brush my eyebrows up like that. And then I take the brow pencil that it comes with. little brow pencil that it come with and I just feel my brows in like this Just make sure the eyebrows look even, y'all. Like this one, I don't really got no eyebrow. So this one's a little harder because I accidentally cut my my brows. So yeah, just make them look as even as possible, y'all. And then the only thing I do is go underneath my brow with my concealer, and I use my my concealer in the color fine. Uh, for this, and I just shake my brows up underneath. And then for my powder, I go and dust it off with a powder brush. Now for eyeshadow, y'all know I'm using my James Charles palette. I'm using this one right here because I really love this. Um, I love that color in the James Charles palette. Best color to me. Like 
So y'all, I put my eyeshadow on like that. Y'all, I've really been loving eyeshadow lately. So y'all put my eyeshadow on like that, and then I'm gonna show y'all. I use the same palette to go back over with blush again, but I use this one up here, and I just, you know, like, cause the powder made it made the blush go away. So I like to use a cream based blush, and then I just like to use this eyeshadow. Blush as well, so yeah, I do, you know, like that. Those two, and so we're gonna finish up the look, um, with you know, like under eye stuff and then lip liner. So we're gonna finish up the look, y'all. So for underneath my eye, I like to go in with this mascara, it's I Love Extreme Volume Mascara by Essence, and then this is just a black eyeliner pen from NYX. So I like to go underneath my eye. So, yeah, that's how it be looking underneath y'all. That hurts my eyes so bad. I'm about to go and put my lashes on off camera because y'all know I struggle with putting lashes on. And I don't feel like crying on camera today trying to put the lashes on, so we gonna put them on off camera. <laughs> okay, y'all, for my lips, I use these two things. This Butter Gloss in the color Madeline from NYX, and then this is a brown lip liner from um, LA Pro Girl. So, I just, I overline my lips. Um, I always overline my lips. And y'all, once I finish my look, I just use this Satin Spray by e.l.f. It's to stay on all night. And I just use that Satin Spray. Then I put a little facial mist on. I don't put too much, y'all, because y'all need too much of this. And then I just, you know, blow dry my face um and that is literally my makeup routine y'all i don't feel like it's a lot of steps and a lot and it's very a lot of the products that i use are very inexpensive i think the most 
expensive thing that I have on my list probably is the primer and the NARS foundation. They're both like 40 ish dollars, but like it's not, it's very inexpensive. It's too, it's not that expensive. And then you can use any type of products you want to use, you know, just follow the steps. But y'all, this is literally my makeup routine that I've been doing for the last past couple weeks. Um, and I love it. Um, it gives the girl like everyday natural glam and I love it like it's not too much it's not you can wear it with literally, literally any outfit anything so I really like this look and I really hope y'all enjoyed this video and thank y'all for watching and I'm gonna see y'all next time bye besties <laughs>